lost his job was to lose, but he lost more than he bargained for. As Les Trent reports, cameras caught the shocking climax of a fight that had tragic consequences. You can, you can do a good firm. I can do it. That's a good firm handshake. I've got uh, usable grip. The simple things are no longer easy for Charles Austin. My left hand doesn't have the grip strength to hold drinks. So. The former college football star who could once bench press 475 pounds now uses his 12-year-old son as a spotter and struggles with a 30-pound weight. It was Chuck Austin's fascination with the rough-and-tumble world of wrestling that robbed him of his mobility, nearly took his life, and thrust him into a pitched battle against a multi-million dollar industry that thrives on winning at all costs. A few years ago, Chuck and some friends formed a small wrestling school and began putting on amateur shows. Then, in December of 1990, Chuck and three of his wrestling buddies traveled to Tampa's South Florida Sun Dome, where the World Wrestling Federation was putting on a show. Chuck, in the blue trunks, was hired for $150 pay to work as a so-called jobber. It's our job to make sure that the star is a star. So your job was to take a fall and do a little acting. Exactly. You might not be too surprised hearing that pro wrestling is well choreographed and the outcome never in dispute, but you won't believe what little preparation Chuck Austin says preceded his maiden trip into the pro wrestling ring. All I did was a guy asked me my name, I told him my name, he asked me where I was from, and I told him I'd only been wrestling about six months. Was it a requirement that you undergo some, some sort of training before you went to the ring? Nobody ever said it was. Nobody sits down and goes, what can you do? He simply walked in the back door and within hours was in the ring with professional wrestlers. Chuck was teamed with a pro to be the fall guy in a match with then WWF tag team stars, the Rockers. He was to smash head first into the mat in the Rocker signature move known as the Rocker Dropper. And in the procedure, if you've seen the film, he's holding my left arm and he instructed me to hold on to his ankle where his leg was over the back of my neck. Chuck says about 10 minutes before entering the ring, he discussed the move with Marty Jannetty the rocker teammate who was to perform the stunt. And Chuck says he expressed reservations about having to fall to the mat without using his hands to break his fall. I questioned him several times and he told me he was a professional and he would protect me. But as this disturbing video of the fight shows, something went tragically wrong. After hitting the mat, Chuck Austin lay motionless. When I hit the mat, I knew my neck was broken and that I was paralyzed. Chuck says he told Janetti he was hurt. And as you watch the film, he approaches me. He leans down to me and he tells me to roll over. And I told him I couldn't. I think my neck is broken. And he proceeds to roll me over. The action went on. Janetti turns Chuck over so his partner can finish the match with a smashing body slam from the ropes. By then, the damage had been done. Chuck laid on the mat for 20 minutes before medical help arrived. Since wrestling is categorized as entertainment instead of a sport, no doctor is required to be at ringside. Chuck's fourth, fifth, and sixth vertebrae were badly damaged. Chuck Austin was paralyzed from the shoulders down. The Austins sued. Their lawyer, Richard Wilkes, saw grounds for negligence. And this is where they talk to each other, and he knows he's dead weight, but he flips him over anyway. And then he helps his partner jump on top of him from the top of the ring ropes. Against tremendous odds, Chuck is walking again with the help of crutches. He has also scored a victory over the World Wrestling Federation. He was seeking at least $3.8 million in damages. The jury not only decided in his favor, but awarded him nearly $27 million. I was so overwhelmed emotionally by the fact that no matter what this monster corporation did in that courtroom those people sitting in that jury box saw the truth the wwf's insurance company is appealing the award chuck hasn't seen one cent of the money still strength. after all he's been through and despite the challenges ahead chuck says he and his family are relying on their faith 
to Perhaps see them through. Cool. And through knowing that no matter what the world, be it the World Wrestling Federation or anybody else throws at the Austin family, we're going to make it. And the World Wrestling Federation denies responsibility for the accident. They say Charles Austin executed a move incorrectly, and that's why he was injured. Now, you would think that O.J. Simpson's attorneys would have been hard at work the entire weekend.